Hey there, lovely soul, and welcome to this video for the full moon. Here today, as I'm recording this, it is the 28th. It is, oh wow, look at that. It's 221, almost 222 here on the 28th. This has been kind of a long time coming with this video. I've been working on setting up my my videos i have two cameras here so i have my card camera so we can really get a good look at my cards and me shuffling and the setup here and also my main camera here um so this has like i said this has been um something i've been working on for the last day trying to set up video and audio and i'm having sinking um sinking issues with the audio and the video so i've had to change my preferred idea which was having a a picture in picture kind of thing so the main the main camera here being the main the main uh video with the the camera or the the card camera being in the corner however the program that i use for that is i guess just having a hard time keeping everything situated i'm sure it's because of my relic dinosaur of a mac uh macbook that i have so what we're doing now is i've shifted so i can move on with my life <laughs> and i've shifted this so we have it um we have a side by side view here so i'm actually going to be uploading a separate video with just the main camera and also a separate video with just this uh camera video as well so anyway without further ado let's get into this i hope you like the new setup i hope that this sound works for you i'm going to try to keep my my face not too close and not too far away from the the microphone um and we are going to be getting into our full moon readings now this is very different than what i've done before and something that has that came to me kind of a little fluttering butterfly about do, working with birth days or or numbers and dates and stuff and it just didn't quite hit until um these last couple days and so what we're going to be doing is going by your birthday so if your birthday is between the first and the fifth that first reading is for you the sixth through the uh, 11th then the 12th through the 16th the 17th through the 21st the 22nd through the 26th and then the 27th through the 31st so we have six reads i will be doing um a couple of other ones but we are going to be doing this one first and each of these six readings will incorporate some different cards um i have dragon fey uh sacred geometry archangel oracle i have archetypes hidden worlds um and then we are going to get into um for sure what we're going to be using is the moonology uh and light seers tarot and the dreams of gaia tarot so um Next, I want to get into what this full moon is all about. And right off the top, I want to send you over to Tanya Gabrielle. She is a astro numerologist. So she combines astrology with numerology, which is super awesome. And I highly recommend subscribing to her and watching all of her videos. But um, definitely go and watch the video about the full moon if you haven't already. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this full moon in um in libra where when where their sun is in aries both are at eight at eight degrees and um so of course they need to be at the same the same degree to 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 have the sun directly behind the moon to illuminate the moon perfectly for the full moon but then there's also a lot of other things going on um with our planets with the in in eight degrees so we have a stellium happening but again i don't want to take up time in this video um 
uh, trying to describe or or get into that because it's really her Tanya's thing and again I just really really encourage you to watch her video on the full moon for um for all of that information but the eights the infinity um symbol takes a a front and center uh um center stage there because everything is with the eights with the infinity symbol with um getting into the energy of our infinite nature connecting with our souls being strong in that energy being in that that zero point of the infinity symbol and having that balance and so really the beginning of this year has been about stabilizing and getting a nice solid firm smooth foundation for ourselves and sifting out anything that doesn't belong and getting things in a in a way that keeps us and gets us stable gets us into a place where we can receive we can connect we can heal we can make connections in our lives so we can put things together for myself this month it's been a lot of clearing out space and energies that pull from me and then also connecting deeply with the Akashic records with my past lives and and going into very deep healing for myself so I can um, really kind of solidify things moving forward and I know that that's been um, maybe not the exact theme for theme for everybody but it's been about let's get things more stable let's find a peace let's let's really bring in our authenticity and tap into what makes us tick what fuels our fire what are our passions who are we what needs to be healed what are we in fear of what holds us back like all of these things all of these components that that make for a bumpy road and then what do we need to smooth that this um full moon I started feeling with the past full, with our last full moon, um, honestly, literally. And I talked about this full moon and this chunk of time between the last full moon and this full moon being really, really intense, very pivotal, a lot of big changes and revelations and, and stuff coming up in this time period. And boy, Yes, it's definitely been that for us. So, um, so anyway, without further ado, I want to get into the readings. Um, welcome to your full moon reading. This is for birthdays between the 27th and the 31st. So welcome, welcome. We're actually in real time in your birthday days. Um, <laughs> which is interesting it is the 28th it is the full moon a happy full moon to you we are getting started with moonology and from there we get into some tarot and then different oracle cards depending on what comes up so um You're very close to achieving your goal. Congratulations. Let's take that. That might be still, eh, it's okay. <laughs> um, for some cards, that's way too bright, but I think we're okay there. So look at this beautiful card. I love this card so much. You're very close to achieving your goal. So Oh wow. Okay, I even heard this could even this could mean like the break is coming or certain recognition even um if your goal is pregnancy if your goal is some type of partnership (sighs) 
If your goal is to, I heard beat in union. I'm feeling a big like one becomes two kind of energy here. Um, and I'm not one to, you know, typically be about like romance and babies and stuff like that. It's got to be very organic for any of that kind of stuff to come up. Um, like it almost feels like I feel this popping energy this like so close to popping like the <laughs> the literally like the jack-in-the-box like that used to be one of my favorite toys um when I was young was the jack-in-the-box and if you're unfamiliar it's this it could be a a wooden box or a metal box um typically in the 70s they were metal and um about this big and there's a little like clown and what's so funny too is that I always really disliked clowns my entire life like they just really freaked me out I had to get over it when I had my own child and he loved clowns and I was really specific about not wanting to impose my likes or you know my dislikes especially upon my child so there's a lot of stuff that I didn't like that he had no idea about until he got older <laughs> it was really kind of funny as he discovered these things because he's like what I'm like I didn't want to influence what you liked and he was just like what and clowns is definitely one of them but <laughs> sorry Jack in the box was a clown. <laughs> Man, that took me off in a direction. Well, there we go. Sometimes we go off in directions. Um, is a clown, but he was also this Jack in the box was also a favorite toy of mine because of the nature of what it was. So you crank this thing, and he and the little song would go, did 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 whatever it was. I can't remember right now. And I love this song and but and as you crank the thing the song would go and more tension would build and it would you would feel it and then so you'd start going slower because as soon as it clicked then he would pop out and even if you could feel it coming even if you're like ah oh, it's gonna pop every time it did it still startled you or most people it did me every time and it would make me laugh because i would tell myself i'm just i'm it's not gonna happen every time it happened and so it was just my favorite toy and when I see that energy or get that visual about the jack in the box, like a like cranking and that's like gonna happen. That's what this energy, I know that was a long ride to get here, but I want you to understand that like tension building that like, you know, it's coming and even it could be, you know what it is. And you're like, it's not going to be a shock. It's not going to be a surprise, but it will be. <laughs> this is going to be a fun read. I can tell already. Wow. Um, let's see what we get here because it feels very... Again, I said at the top, one becomes two um so our first card out is the queen of water wow that is potent energy i think this is the first time i've ever put one of these cards down and i didn't get a shit blast ton of <laughs> glare because these are really shiny cards these are really let me show you how shiny these cards are Woo! look at that look at they're plastic they're really interesting oh i kind of bent that one um but they're strong but they do unfortunately just oh look at me uh a lot of glare oh shut up right now what is this
Okay, so in that we have the counselor, which is also water. So in this deck is it's different than a normal tarot deck. This deck um, goes by the elements and it doesn't follow the normal major arcana. It doesn't follow um, the same thing with the uh, with the tr with the what you call it the trump cards. Um, so this would normally be like the knight or the sun. Um, but each of the suits has its own, like for fire, it's the hero. So for water, it's the counselor. So we have the queen of water and the counselor. So these are literally right next to each other in the, um, uh, it goes, so normally it would go the page or the daughter, but it's whatever comes before that, which I, I don't know. I have to look in the book because I, this is a new deck for me. So I'm not, I will learn it eventually. But so, but in any regard, it goes then the counselor and then the queen and then it would be the king. So this is interesting. Um... I'm feeling things, but I'm told to shut up until we get more cards. <laughs> so let's see what we get. Oh, the eight of water. Wow, a lot of water. And this is the second time we've seen this card. We, I think it was just our last, no, not our last reading. Reading before. And then again, another water. The four of water. Oh, this is a great, great card. Wow so much water so it's all water i knew this was gonna be a, a fun and interesting reading i knew it 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 <laughs> uh that's out of order queen of water the counselor eight of water and four of water well let's not waste any more time and get right into it shall we we're going to be doing what i have been doing with each one of these readings which is oop, right to it which is reading a little bit from the book because this is such a different deck than normal tarot i'm not going to pretend that it's the same so i'm referring to the book hope you don't mind um <laughs> it's just going to give us greater insight okay loving compassionate empathetic sensitive vulnerable romantic intuitive emotional honesty with the queen of water Whew. trust in your feelings and senses look beyond the surface a bright and positive outcome to show vulnerability is to show strength are you overextending emotionally? Be the embodiment of love. Withdrawing love is punishment. Use your common sense. The queen of water symbolizes a gentle empathic soul who possesses a keen sense of intuition. She is loving, compassionate, and always kind. She knows when something is wrong, when a friend is hurting, and in need of comfort or counsel. She is naturally in tune with her emotions and the emotions of those around her. It is this natural connection and gentleness that draws people to her. She is empathic and would never consider being deliberately cruel or unkind. She is generous and giving of herself to a fault. She, um, sorry, only by having and maintaining healthy boundaries does this watery queen protect herself from becoming drained. Her ability to intuitively see and know in her is her greatest strength. Her ability to see and know is her greatest strength. She looks beyond the surface to what lies within the subconscious, seeing the emotions of old that influence the present. The present. She can sense the mood of a moment or the undercurrents that flow through a room full of people. And because she can read others' emotions with ease, she can often distinguish truth from falsehood. Yeah, that's really... Um, describing empaths, male or female. 
that um but there there do tend to be more more empaths that are female than male but there are a lot of males that are there are empaths and light workers and healers etc cetera, etc cetera. <coughs> of course mm. <laughs> i have sage in my water <laughs> i just got a mouthful of sage okay so we're definitely speaking to you empath let's see what else we get um so like i was saying what would i just turn to what is before the counselor with um our 11 card is 11 of water emotion and intellect um so like normally that would be a page and this so it's very it's very different um the way that she has it <laughs> a little piece of sage okay 12 of water is the counselor let me put that up for you so the counselor empathetic wise objective uh, objective advice, trustworthy, emotional understanding, clarity, sharing, a time of questions and mixed emotions. Look beyond the words to the emotions, mixed or confused emotions. Listen, listen, hear, S uh, seek objective counsel and emotionally complex situation, a lack of empathy and opportunity for understanding. Be receptive, not rejecting our feelings, preventing a resolution. The counselor of water represents one who stands high, an elder, advisor, a wise man or woman whom the king or queen calls upon to discuss their feelings regarding a situation or experience of concern. She or he is someone who is trusted. They are a caring, compassionate person who will listen attentively, only interrupting the flow to ask a question if there is need. Once the tale is told the counselor offers her thoughts in an objective manner her role is not to give instruction but to present alternatives and insight that will help the seeker understand the thoughts and feelings that may be clouding their judgment she is an empathetic person skilled at stepping outside of herself to look through the eyes of others she never judges and often only uh, sorry, offers only compassion and, and the opportunity to understand the emotions at play. By asking the right questions, she helps people to come to her to their own conclusions about what feels right for them and how to proceed from that point. When the counselor appears in a reading, she symbolizes a need to be empathetic and objective when dealing with emotionally complex situations. If you can, look beyond the words being spoken to see the emotions beyond behind them if you cannot the counselor asks that you seek out the wisdom of someone who can there may also be a time approaching that will require you to keep your emotions in check especially if they are confused if you are feeling reactive or challenged talking it through might help you to make sense of your feelings and provide you with answers if you act without taking the step your mixed or confused emotions may muddy the waters further I'm seeing so many different things here. It is. I'm just being told, let's just keep going here. I'm not even going to stop to discuss that card yet. Um, the eight of water. This one, like I said, was in another read. I think it was two reads ago, but I could be wrong. Uh, gratitude, appreciation, delight joyfulness happiness positivity pride harmony key phrases a positive state of appreciation the uh attitude of gratitude create a positive environment be prideful not boastful cherish what you have now 
The eight of water symbolizes how a positive state of appreciation and gratitude can influence our lives and environment for the better. When you make a conscious choice to take pride in all that you do and appreciate all that you have, you open yourself to more good vibrations and more reasons to be happy. So this, 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 this. <laughs> I'm going to just, they're like, nope, stop talking. Okay. We're continuing. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's continue that, shall we? I love this card. Four of water, confidence, awareness, self-acceptance, forgiving, self-belief, deserving, receptive consequences. You are beautiful. Be aware of weaknesses, but focus on strength mistake an opportunity to learn uh let go of the ideal of perfection love yourself for who you are happiness at another's expense the emotional cost of your actions the four of water stands before you with quiet confidence and awareness despite his <coughs> scarred appearance he sees only beauty when he looks at his reflection a gentle smile curves his lips as he regards himself himself with kindness and understanding he has many weaknesses and during his lifetime has made many mistakes and yet he chooses to see the lessons he has learned and forgive himself instead of holding on to feelings of shame regret and guilt every scar makes him more beautiful and every mistake presents him with the opportunity to learn grow and become wiser like all of us he has many strengths and balances out to balance out his weaknesses and it is these strengths on which he chooses to focus he believes he is deserving of both love and happiness and even when life offers an experience that scars he refuses to allow hurt or disappointment to erode his self-belief or close his heart okay so i'm like now can i talk uh Wow, there's just so much coming here. I feel like this is talking to and about empaths and about healers and healing and about being healed and about new relationships and about um, allowing for yourself to be cared for and loved and to have that um, really balanced relationship but like it talked about here the counselor is who the queen or the king calls upon when they need to work stuff out and and that's kind of how i see this i see this as a, a real deep partnership coming in that is in balance that i mean i see very much i know we're not talking about a king and a queen here but that's okay we have it's all this is in balance this is all very much in balance this whole thing here even though it's all water it's all in balance and it's all about being em being an empath and being empathic and um and focusing on how strong you are and not you know those extra sensitivities that you know a lot of people see empaths as being like weak or or too sensitive and that's not the case at all they're so um strong and have such amazing abilities and because they feel and see and know so much um that is such a big part of their strength and and it's about being grateful for these differences of, of being what you are. It's about recognizing how empaths, light workers, healers, um, how we're not the same as everybody else. And really, um, look at that beautiful full moon I'm being shown. Like, hello, beautiful full moon here. Um, and then we have the two dolphins. His hands are open. Um, he's receiving. His chakras are all in alignment and on and in balance. And, and he's just like, it's 
awesome being me. And I want I want to connect with somebody who is is like this too in their own very special sacred divine way because i've recognized that that's what i that's just the energy that's the type of human that i need in my life on whatever on you know especially an intimate level whether it's um friendship romance business uh that if you're going to have a real deep, meaningful relationship, that it really needs to be on a certain level or else it's just not going to work. Um, I recently put out a, a post on my Instagram that said empaths need empaths. And there's nothing more true than that when it comes to empaths. It is really essential for empaths to be in relate, especially intimate romantic relationships with fellow empaths because of the fact that, don't you jump up here after that buggy. <laughs> like I look down, my cat's like mid. <laughs> um... And so that's like what this this reading reminds me like empaths need empaths. We need we need the same. We I mean just imagine him, you know, it's like him and then and then this is a, a totally different person, but him looking in the mirror and, and seeing not the flaws but the experiences that that have shaped who he is and that doesn't make him weak. It makes him really strong. And this guy here just being very, um, you know, at one point maybe feeling vulnerable and weak for being who he was because he didn't understand it all. It was very complex. Being an empath, being a psychic, being a seer, being an incarnate, being an old soul, being what we are is complicated and deep and confusing until it starts to pull itself apart and pull yourself apart and not be afraid to be pulled apart in order to see what lies beneath and once we do that to a certain extent then we're able to see past those um, situations that were painful we're able to see what that was really about and what the lessons are are meant to teach us and that whatever it is whatever it was is just another piece another cog in the machine that makes it makes you what who you are um, and that you're super grateful for it, super happy to be that person. And you don't want close relationships with people who aren't in that same type of energy and understanding. Now, we realize the pool for that is small. But that's okay because there's so much left to explore and to, and to be... Um, connected to and to learn in the world that um, to not be deeply connected to a person just means that you have more time to develop you. What? Wow, this is very interesting. <laughs> <coughs> very let me just take this in for a moment all of these cards came up in reverse and three of these cards I believe were in one other reading but I'm not positive If that's actually the case or if I'm confusing a couple of different <laughs> different ones but I've I've seen all of these cards except for this one except for the judgment card it came in the last position underneath the four of water 
I find that very interesting. We have the seven of wands underneath that eight of water. So we have eight of water, seven of wands. And let me tell you, these two a pair do they make. We have the counselor and we have the pay, the counselor, which would normally be like the knight. So we have the counselor of water and the page of pentacles. And then we have the hangman and the queen of water is above that. Now the hangman is in reverse. Um, I think I put it on. Yeah, the hangman is in reverse. The page of pentacles is in reverse. The seven of wands is in re is in reverse. So like this. Um, <laughs> getting myself all confused here. Wanting to show you how they came out. And then the judgment card also in reverse so they all came out in reverse and so a lot of times just because they come out a certain way doesn't mean that they're meant to stay that way so i always ask mentally telepathically is this in reverse yes or no and much of the time i'm i hear turn it around it's it, it is straight up however in this situation all of these are meant to be in reverse. Now, what's interesting about this is that we've got a mirrored situation here with, with stuff. So as they look at them at each other, they're right side up. So these are facing each other. The, 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 the page of pentacles is facing the counselor. The seven of wands is is facing the eight of water and the judgment card is facing this four of water and let's not forget he's he, this card is all about refusing to judge oneself refusing to focus on negative stuff and then who we have the judgment card judgment is also um most specifically um about balance um as well and coming out of darkness into light. <sighs> the hangman in reverse with this queen of water is very interesting to me. I think probably, well, these are all very interesting pairings, but... I think that this one is the most interesting because of the fact of what the Queen of Water represents being that that empath, um, both of these are, are empaths, but she's like the epitome of the empath and the hangman being in reverse and them though facing each other. So she's waiting, you're waiting, you've been waiting for your counselor counterpart to show up is what I'm seeing here. This is a pair. And this is a this is a pair and and this is a pair. We have a three-way pair here. Counselor with the with the page and the counselor with the queen. We also have a pairing here with the um 8 of water with the 7 of wands. Um, they're, they're a perfect match for each other, even though they're, they, they're not, I mean, they're different in their elements with the, with the fire and the water kind of thing going on, but together they make steam and together them together in astral together in orgasm is wowza wow so we have this balancing of energies here with um empath and empath and and fire energy and water energy fire energy and earth energy fire or water energy and earth and sorry let me start over water and fire water and earth 
So, and then we have this, this out of the dark, like we're not focusing on the positive. So it's like, look, what I'm seeing here with this is saying, neither of us are perfect, but we're perfect together. And that's all that matters. So I see a real like serious soul type, soul mated, soul family type of a union here. Um, I really feel that first and foremost, let me just clarify by saying that that what whatever this is, Whatever this is, um, it's definitely <laughs> it's deep soul connection no matter what the nature of the relationship is. Friendship, romantic partnership, business partnership, all three combined. Um, it is soul mated and it starts though with the self in union. So remember at the very beginning I said to become one. Um, Where are we going? I'm feeling the Archangel tear the major arcana from the Archangels is what I'm feeling here. Um, and, and back to that to become one, it's it's like to become one can also very well mean you as a human connecting with your soul that's the number one divine union um where i'm sorry where one become two i said two become one sorry um where where one become two and what i mean by that is not that one splits into two but it's like that that each one become a, a set become two i should have clarified that um but but that's what that meant that like the two ones become the two together um and that can mean with yourself and your soul and with yourself and somebody else so first there's it's that and that's what this it that's also part of what this hangman is about it's like it, it's saying that while there's waiting to be done there's there's still a lot to explore but at the same time it's like there's this readiness to this energy big time that it's like at any time we're ready for this to, sh to shift here's our card the fool perfect the dreamer card the fool card <clears throat> yeah so let me drink some tea excuse me So we have our, our full card, our zero card, leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. And that's really kind of what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that, and like I said at the beginning, it's like, you'll be like, oh, I feel like this is ready to, like, I can feel this coming. Like, I feel that there's a, a situation, an opportunity, a person, something's going to shift everything. Like, I'm waiting for that kind of thing that's what it felt like from the top and this dreamer card is saying this is a new beginning a new a new thing like a new um take that leap of faith when it comes up when 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 it uh presents itself don't think about like oh i didn't ex like this is different than i expected or you're different than i expected and is this really the thing should i go for any of that because remember from the very beginning 
you're very close to achieving your goal. So, but it may look different. Remember, I also said that you may be like, oh, this, like, I'm not going to be surprised because I'm expecting it. But you, yes, you actually will be surprised. Um, this is also speaking to that. So it's like, just when you think that like, you're like, oh, okay, I've kind of see this or I've got it figured out or, or I think it's this, or I think it's that it's like, stop trying to figure it out. Just do you in the sense of, of you're following your guidance, you know, that you're in a, a new transition and that something, something is coming in, something is going to pop. Because there is all this balance with this water up here. And there is like, there is something, a, a somebody, a some type of, of relationship coming. And it, and I'm hearing not only is this the fool card, is this the dreamer card, but it's also dreamy. Remember, like I said, we're not perfect, but we're perfect together. I really feel that it's kind of like how every mother feels for their unborn child like this is just perfect um i'm not saying every single situation where somebody's pregnant is perfect but what i'm saying is is that as a a mother of a, a of a bait of a child of an unborn child and then the born child it's like you see that as perfection no matter what and it's to have that type of reverence and love for this new thing coming into existence because the readiness the being grateful for for its existence for what it is and to start off with somebody in this in this type of energy is so rich and beautiful and dreamlike it's like is this shit real is this too good to be true like that kind of energy you know Stop it. um so yeah it's very much like don't let doubt get in the way stay very positive about stuff about how you it's been like Oh my god am i just noticing i'm keep thinking it's the cards but it's the camera how did the camera get all how funny i'm sorry it's been wackadoo this whole time anyhow let's be just happy and grateful for the connection and whatever the road was to this connection whatever we can see and feel and um not to compare um people but but we but that is kind of life is is you know <laughs> is comparing situations is is having experiences and putting one against the other and seeing what that feels like and so you know what to do so so while it's not like saying this person is this that person is that it's where how you are in relation to anybody else is your is your measurement of health and wellness and emotional um, intelligence and the ability to deeply connect with somebody um, and be vulnerable without being scared and just being grateful for the relationship for the connection so I definitely feel all this is so positive so good if anything here it's about being more patient or just having, you know, knowing that it's going to take a little bit more time for this to come into play. Um, it's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to happen in these last few days of March. But this energy is definitely building up. And this energy is definitely coming in at this time for this specific reason um, to get this all lined up. And we've got this this dreamer card the fool card saying seriously this is a new beginning that's that's happening that's coming in um okay one last card we're gonna get is the hidden worlds so let's oh 
Okay. <laughs> that didn't take. Oh, there's two cards here. I'm going to take their same, the top one. Taking the top card here, whatever this is. Tree of Souls, Collective Wisdom, Kinship Group, Library. Okay, there we go. Because remember what I said. This is this is like partnership stuff in one way or another. Um, where's that? Oh, you're under that. <laughs> like it can only be in so many places. Card number forty-two. last cards here tree of souls look at that beautiful card tree of souls in the hidden worlds we have places and beings who are literally the storehouses of the wisdom of the ages the akashic libraries do not always appear as books of light although this one this is one of their forms so too are the whales and their song which also hold part of the great wisdom necessary for the universe to continue this tree is but one of those places and perhaps it is yours this tree when meditated upon when connected with in a true sense can offer to you the wisdom of your soul kinship group ancestral knowledge yes but there is a collective wisdom a soul group of which you are a part and through connecting with this tree imagining it feeling it serving it honoring it you can help keep the balance of the universe alive this tree hosts the spark of your soul and all of its wisdom which is as we have learned vast and impossible to apprehend within one lifetime Every moment of wisdom you have, every second in which you choose to express kindness and compassion feeds the tree of light, this tree of souls. And in return, this nourishes, nourishes all the other souls connected to the tree. For we are unique and individual souls, yes, yet we are one. And this is a place where we come together, a tribe of light, leaves on a tree, its roots shining and vast, and we are sheltered, nourished as keepers of the light. This is your soul tree. Know you are not alone and that every act of what you would call goodness benefits not only others in the human world, but the progression of their soul through its path in the universe every soul a star shimmering upon this tree of light and the illumination mantra illumination i belong to the universe and i am part of a great collective of souls who help that and nurture each other throughout lifetimes oh wow it's really crazy how on point these cards can be. <laughs> I literally can't make this up, you guys. I mean, seriously, we're talking here about a serious, deep connection and being connected to, to other people and souls. And um, this card is all about the tree of souls and soul family and those connections and that's i mean it's saying like you're you're connecting like with your soul family within your branch of the tree of the tree of souls and that branch is like blooming It's all water here. It's all the same branch. It's all blooming at the same time. And all that needs to happen is time is is literally winter turning into spring and the season changing. So this energy can come in and this full moon is big time part of that energy coming in to um, be the light 
the light coming in, shining on the tree, shining on this branch of soul family so they can integrate the energies into the body structure into the cellular actual like the molecular structure of our energy in our body when that happens we change we literally evolve and we change who and what we are and then as we do that we are um, connecting and um, solidifying with our soul song, our Merkabas. And as we do that, we project that frequency out to others that are on that same path and frequency so they can connect, so we can connect. We are not aware of it on any kind of conscious level. We just know that we're doing that and that's what's happening and that these frequencies are going out. But what happens exactly in the web and how things work and timelines and so on and so forth is a completely other thing that we can meditate on. We can um uh, connect with our guides upon we can go into astral visions and all this stuff and and really um get a little bit more of that the understanding of the mechanics of it but we don't necessarily need all that what we need to know is that what we do in the here and now how we um uh how we perceive how we react how we connect how we communicate how we uh how we live how what's in our environment what we bring into our our consumption through our ears our eyes our bodies our energy where we put ourselves what we put into ourselves on, on any level is all part of the mechanics of who and what we are and how when we have these events like the <clears throat> the full moon <clears throat> excuse me the full moon today um and then the the portal um coming up on the the fourth on four four is our next portal i haven't talked at all about that our next or what i call it portal stargate i haven't talked at all about that i've kept it all about you know the here and the now but that is coming up um here too because in th with this reading this is about connecting to your soul family and the energies coming in to help you connect with either those who you already know or those that are going to come in those that are meant to find you those who are you are meant to find and the work that you need to do to align these things so you can be in a better position to um receive and transmute most definitely so again being very close to um to actually seeing and feeling and having a whole kind of new this where you're going to be like oh this is what it is but it's been it's been a thing that's been going on and happening for a while now um and it's just about understanding and better developing and and really thinking about on a day-to-day -day basis what you what you are as an empath as a light worker as an incarnate however you may identify some as star seeds <clears throat> some as earth angels some as fey um some you know whatever it's it's it of course it matters but what matters most is that is that you're in that mode of of going from just seeing yourself as as a human with one life or even if you always had this understanding of reincarnation and multiple lives from a small child like i did like a lot of us um old soul people do because you know it's like this i remember feeling really old as a as a child it was childhood was difficult for me because of my perspective as this really connected aware old soul incarnate and we're very trapped in childhood unfortunately 
So this is also a time again, just bringing up this energy here with the dreamer, or if it's the if it's the car, if it's the zero card in the the dreams of Gaia in this um, deck, it's the child, and that card did come up a couple times in in other reads. It came up here it, with the archangels and specifically with Metatron. So again, speaking of Merkaba, speaking of soul songs, speaking of frequency, please connect with, um, with Archangel Metatron, with sacred geometry, with the um with metatron's cube the flower the fruit of life listen to frequency music whatever is being put in front of you like if you go to youtube and you and you know frequency music comes up just feel around it but um get into that for sure and just know again things are very close to, to, to coming together in a way where, like I said, the branch of your soul family, um, in the tree of souls is blooming and blossoming and doing this. And, and, oh, I'm seeing these beautiful and cute, adorable little bees going from and pollinating and going back and forth. And that would be our guides, our guardian angels going back and forth and, and working together to get us all connected and that sort of thing. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for being here, receiving this, these messages. I hope they provided you with validation and support and um, advice and um, and that it resonates with you. And if it does, please give it a give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go to my website. See what I have to offer there as far as ebooks, meditations. Please drop a comment in the video. Let me know um, how this connected with you or how this resonates with you. And um, until next time, have a beautiful full moon and the last bit of uh, March before we get into April. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.